do I need a microphone? No. No? no. Yes. Maybe yes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, I too am absolutely delighted uh, to be able to welcome you here today to the English Language Teachers of Montenegro Day, uh, looking at how we can change the way we teach to meet the demands of the 20th century. Uh, I'm also delighted that the United Kingdom, through the British Council, is giving practical support to the government of Montenegro in developing and strengthening the standards in English language teaching. Uh, the range of our work in education in Montenegro is broad and diverse. I'm sure you know some of it, but uh, at the risk of repetition, uh, I will list some of it because I think it is, it is extremely important. Um, we work with the Department of, for Quality Evaluation on the reform of the school inspection in Montenegro, aligning the procedures and standards with the best international practice. Here we work with Ofsted, England's Office for Standards in Education, uh, who are the lead consultants in this project. We also work with the Department for Professional Development of Teachers, supporting teachers to attain the highest uh, standards of language proficiency and teaching skills. And this conference, together with the many workshops the British Council has organised with you, is part of that partnership. We work with the learners of English through our online platforms, helping them develop English, but also a range of other skills necessary for a career in the 21st century including research and analytical skills, creativity and public speaking. Lastly, uh, most importantly, uh, the British Council is just beginning a project with the Ministry of Education on the reform of English language teaching in Montenegro, which will help Montenegrin learners to be fully operable in an international environment. But finally, uh, and even more importantly, uh, a word about you. I think people often forget how important teachers are in the development of society throughout the world. You are a vital ingredient in determining the future of Montenegro. Of all the people we meet in our lives, if we are lucky, it is our teachers who make the deepest impression on us. They i.e. you, are the inspiration for the younger generation of Montenegro. And, and for you to be able to give your best for your country as a teacher, and your best for the children, continuous professional development is vital. So I'm delighted that you're showing that dedication to duty and your profession through attending this busy programme of workshops today, and giving up part of your precious weekend to do so. So I hope this conference goes extremely well and it creates the opportunities uh, for you to develop the skills to take Montenegro forward. So thank you very much and I wish you the best of luck.